Life Changers Kids, Yo. welcome back to... Wait, wait, wait. Welcome back. Oh, wait. You're right. This is our first episode. This is our first episode. Life Changers Kids, welcome to our first ever podcast. Yo, dude, I'm excited. This is different for sure. For this is going to be... Uh, yeah, for the month of November, this mm-hmm. is going to be the new style of videos that we are going to be producing. Right. So we hope you guys enjoy them. There are going to be some more segments besides just us talking. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have special guests coming in and off for the show. Oh, definitely. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely. So we're pretty High excited energy. for this. It's going to yeah. be different, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. And so, with all of that being said, I say, uh, why don't we jump into our first segment? Let's do it. Okay. So to start us off, we have a little bit of fall trivia. Fall so, trivia. Zamar, I'm going to ask you some things. And you're just going to, you know, give me, you know, your thoughts on it. Okay. You okay. We're just going to see how this goes. Ready? Sweet. So, did you know that only America calls it fall? Oh, only America calls this season fall? Yes. Wow. So, you know how we have, like, different seasons? Yeah. And fall is one of those seasons. Right. But it wasn't always called fall. What and only called? America calls it fall. Hmm. Okay. Before, it used to be called Harvest. Okay, I'll, you know, I a lot can of, see that. A lot of crops are, you know, harvested in this time. Mm-hmm. Sea time As harvest. well as autumn. Okay. And then apparently like around the 1300s to the mid-1800s mm-hmm. is when it transitioned to fall. Because of a little saying, the fall of leaves. It was a little ah. fall. And because of that, they call it fall and it just stuck forever. That and so now lie. we know it as fall. But it's Zamar, a beautiful season. I know you like apples. I do love apples. You know, Guys, an apple away keeps the doctor. An apple a day keeps there, the doctor there away. Is. There it is. But I, I know you're doing this little TikToks yeah. where you uh, you eat an apple every day in hopes that the Apple company sends you an iPhone. Yeah, I got a, a Samsung and an Android right now. Mm. But um, I'm going to stay diligent, guys. You what know, day are you at? I'm on day 70. Day 70. day 70. So you've been eating an apple every day for 70 days? I have been eating an apple every that day. Is, that is crazy, guys. Mm-hmm. That is over two months. It is. Over two months of work. If you stick with the grind, Wow. you won't waste time. Oh Whoa. Did you know? Well, how many types of apples do you think there are in the world? Okay. So we got um, Johnny Appleseed, Granny okay. Smith. Okay. I know there's some yellow apples out yellow there. Yellow apples. So uh, i say about a... Uh, about a hundred, hundred thousand. A hundred thousand types of apples? A hundred thousand types of apples. Like different varieties of apples, there's a hundred thousand. I say a hundred thousand. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just go with a hundred. I say a hundred types of different apples. How do you go from a hundred thousand to eight hundred? Because I'm starting to realize that all the apples I ate, and then I multiply by the amount of years, and you you know that math. Okay, okay. You know how it goes. Well, you're wrong. Because there are actually 7,500, more than, well, there's a little more than 7,500 varieties of apples. So I should have stuck with 8,500, huh? Well, you said like 800,000. So I should have stuck with that answer. Yeah, I think you're pretty off both ways. But you're actually closer to 800. But anyways, so apparently, yeah, there's over 7,500 different varieties of okay. apples. Yeah. And 2,500 of those types are actually grown in the U.S. Mm. So potentially you could eat a different apple like here in the U.S., for 2,500 days. And then if you go to like another country, you, you have access to there. a whole bunch of more. Like Man. Another like 5,000. I'm going to try some apples. Yeah, you probably should. Maybe you'll get an iPhone then. Mm. But okay. Did you know? Well, what do you think changes leaves? The color of leaves. What do you guys think changes the color of leaves? I think, um, well, we're in the, the, the season of fall. Mm-hmm. I think the amount of sunlight, maybe. Sunlight, okay. okay. The difference in sunlight. Well, Photo- it's actually, what were you going to say? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Mm. Um, no, it's actually the, the sugars. Sugar. There's it, sugar in leaves? There is different types of sugars. You know, you got like maple, but then you also have like other pigments in the leaves and that that change the colors. And so depending wow. on those pigments, it depends on whether they turn yellow or red and all that kind of stuff. Oh. And so technically it's like sugars and leaves that change the colors. So that does that mean like you can't eat the leaves? Mm, I wouldn't recommend it, but I, I mean, I guess. Gotcha. Okay. I was just wondering because, you, know, you know, sugar and leaves sounds pretty. Like a little candy? Pretty interesting. A little candy. Yeah. A little right. healthy, maybe. Well, I got another thing. All right. Um... How many apples do you think it takes to make one gallon of apple cider? One gallon of apple cider. Say a gallon is four quarts. Okay. So I'm going with uh, 16 apples. 16? Yes. Final mm, answer. Lock in. It's actually 36. 36? So Man, about I'm double. so close. Yeah, about double. 
Wow. Do you guys even like apple cider? I like think apple cider? cider is not bad. Yeah, apple cider is pretty good. Do you, now, I know apple cider is a drink that you can have either hot or cold. Or cold. Yeah. So what do, you, what, 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 uh, what do you guys like out there? Hot, cold apple hot. cider? Maybe lukewarm. It's up to you. Lukewarm. Uh, I, say, I say you can't go wrong both ways. Yeah, I think both ways is pretty good. Yeah. Depends. If I'm cold, then obviously warm would be nice. Okay. But... Yeah, so 36. So that means they have to be producing like a lot of apples in order to keep up because like apple cider is huge in the fall. Right. And so that's a lot of apples that you have to make for one gallon of apple cider. Mm -hmm. All right. One more of Damar. One All more. Right. Here we go. Fun fact for you. Kids born in fall might be taller. Wow. So if you guys didn't know, Zamar always thinks he's six foot when he's not six foot. I am six foot, guys. And he thinks like he's like gonna I grow another like foot. He thinks he's gonna grow a whole other foot by I, the time he hits like twenty. I'm still growing. So but you always compare your height a little bit to Roman. Cause you know Roman's younger than you. Right. And he's much taller than you are. Well, I think me and Roman. He's like he's like height. significantly taller than Zamar is, like significantly, like you know, he's got like a good like almost a foot on Only about one centimeter. So but did you know? The Roma was born in October. In October, October first, actually. But guys, there are also some people here that are born in the fall that I am taller than. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, it says they might be taller. I'm just what saying. You, what would you classify as fall months? That is a great question. I think there is an actual date where the beginning of fall starts. Maybe like um, August, October. Uh, I like to think October, but I guess September twenty second. Is a start of fall. Is a start of fall. So like September, October. Maybe. September twenty second. Okay. It's the official starting date of fall. Okay. But that explains why Roman is a little bit taller than you, I guess. You know, that's, that could be one of the reasons. One centimeter taller, and you know, I'm still growing, by the way. Got a few inches on you, but yeah, apparently there's been a study. Um, that yeah, just kids in fall tend to be a little bit taller than other kids born in like the winter or spring. I've never heard of that. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I know it's pretty interesting. I don't know how true it is, but I mean, I guess when you compare you and Roman. Pretty sure you got a, you got a summer birthday and then Roman got a fall birthday. You are literally the same age as me too. So you he's taller than you too. That's crazy. But uh, anyways, moving on from that, we are going to jump into a commercial. Wait, Andre, before we go to commercial, I think we should show them why we have these two superheroes. Oh, Do you guys know who these characters are? We have. Black Panther on my side, and Black, Zamar, who's on your side? Black Panther, we have Shuddy, the sister of Black Panther. The sister. So, if you guys didn't know, you know, if you're watching this, the Monday comes out, the Friday, um, November 11th, Wakanda is forever. Black Panther, Panther 2 release date, like yes. opening night. So, you know, maybe we'll do a little post review after we see it, because, oh, you know, we got tickets for yeah. Black Panther on I'm that Friday. I'm excited to see it, Andre. I am pretty excited too. You know, the first one was great. It was. It was great. But this movie. one's definitely gonna be different. Right. But um, you know, we we're gonna go expecting good things. You know? mm, yeah, sir. So uh, so yeah, that's why we have you know Black Panther on this side and Shitty. Shitty on that side. So uh, yeah, hopefully you know maybe we'll do a little post interview, but or review without and make spoilers. sure yeah make sure there's no spoilers in that. So yep. We'll go ahead and jump into commercial now. Hope you guys enjoy this. Charlie uh, Villa. Yeah, that's me. All right, I'm here to give you a little interrogation. Okay. Uh, right now, I just want you to answer with a yes, sir. You got that? Uh, I said, do you got that? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. That's what I expect. All right, Chandler Vila, is that your name? Yes, sir. All right. Can I ask a question, though? Wait. Go ahead and ask a question. Like, why am I here? Like, why am I being interrogated? Are you asking the questions around here? Answer me. No, sir. No, sir. I said, say yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I thought. <laughs> Let me ask the question. Is something funny to you, Chuckles? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, is something funny to you? Yes, Knock sir. it off, Buster. No, no, Knock it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ridiculous. That's why you're in the. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just like, not sure why I'm here. I know. Like, I'm going to tell you why you're here when you give me a second. Okay. You might if I take my glasses off, sir. Go ahead. Take it off. All right. T shirt size. Um, well, it depends on. Didn't I just tell you to answer with yes, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. T shirt size? Yes, sir. That's right. Have you been born again? Yes. Have you been born again? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Have you been baptized? Yes, sir. All right, that's what I like to hear. Yes, sir. Now, I got some reports that on November 22nd, you were caught at the dinner table saying, I am not thankful for anything. 
Is that true, Mr. Avila? No, sir. That, that is it's true. not really. No, sir. No. So what are you thankful for then, huh? I'm actually, I'm actually thankful for everything. Well, why don't you tell me that? Well, I'm thankful for my parents. Okay. I'm thankful for my job. Okay. I'm thankful for my friends. All right. In fact, I'm even thankful for you. You're thankful for me? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Mr. Avila, I, I don't care if you're thankful for it. Chocolate, okay? I didn't ask you to be thankful for me. I'm thankful for me, you understand? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Sorry, sir, I don't mean to like get out of Why do you keep on asking questions? Just say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isn't that hard, Mr. Hill? Isn't that hard? Huh, Chuckles? You're, you're just funny, sir. Oh, all right, I know how to deal with the likes of you. All right, all right. So. Mr. Avila. Yes, sir. You look pretty thirsty. Oh, good. Doesn't that water look good? Yeah, can I have some? Go ahead. Thanks, sir. After a few questions first, buddy. So, you said you're thankful for a few things, right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, I have here in my report, specifically from a person named Andre Valentin. Oh, yeah, he, he snitched on you. So, whoa, whoa. He told me that you said that you are not thankful for Jesus dying on the cross. Is that true, Mr. Avila? Because he is not a liar. I'm a liar. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. I'm thankful for Jesus. I'm thankful for Jesus. Why are you thankful for Jesus, Mr. Avila? Because he's changed my life. How? In all the good ways. So do you have a thankful heart, Mr. Avila? Yes, I told you this already. I have a thankful heart. God loves when we have a thankful heart. Well, then, why didn't you just say that? Well, Mr. Avila, this was a great interrogation. The job, my job here is done. Nice to meet you. Nope, just yes, sir. Got that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, well, I'll see you later. Um, um, one more question, sir. What is it? Am I good to go? What is up, Life Changes Kids, guys, and welcome to the Memory Verse segment. Now, this week's Memory Verse is found in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, and this is what it says. Give thanks no matter what happens. That is what God wants for you in Christ Jesus. Now, boys and girls, it is November, and it is the holiday of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming right around the corner, boys and girls. And we're in the season of just being thankful. And boys and girls, we can be thankful for good things, but we can also be thankful for things that may not be so good. Things that may not go our way. Like for me, I know I may not have some good days, but you know what? I still thank God for giving me a day where I can just experience and enjoy his love and grace. Okay, boys and girls. So it's important that you stay thankful even in the good times or the bad times, because just like our memory verse says, that is what God wants for us to do. So what you to do, for me to do, what we all do, just be thankful. So thank you for tuning in, and let's see what we have next. Why don't we jump into worship? Ooh, worship. I'm excited. You guys, guys excited? Stand up. Get ready, guys, because we are about to have
Wow. Wasn't worship great? That was amazing. Yeah. But really quick, we want to give you guys the opportunity to invite Jesus into your heart if you yep. never have already. Mm -hmm. So, Zamar, why don't you go ahead and lead us in a salvation prayer? All right. Um, guys, if you at home, you can close your eyes by your head. We're going to say this prayer. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins and be my friend forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Just wow. like that, guys. It's that easy. And if that was your first time ever saying that prayer, go ahead and visit the link below. Yep. And we want to just go ahead and just send you a quick little gift to congratulate you on making the best decision that you'll ever make in oh, your yeah. whole entire life. Man, let me just, just give them a round of applause, wow. guys. This is it's that amazing. Easy. Amazing, guys. But now we have some more fun. Yes. Because we're going to go ahead and jump into the big point. And today, I believe we have a special guest. We do. On the first episode, we have a special guest. Guys. And his name is Gerald. Gerald. What's up, guys? What's up, Gerald? Welcome to the LCK Podcast. Oh, man, you know, it's, it's an honor. I'm so, I'm so blessed to be here. It, man, you know, I've, I've always dreamed of being on a podcast. Wow. wow. Your well, dreams have come true. Yes, sir. So, Gerald, we have you here for the big point today. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I like the big point. So, do you know what the big point is for today? Uh, let's see. Is it something about being thankful? It yeah, is. Yeah, you're on, you're okay, on the right okay, track. Okay, okay, so, okay. why don't you go ahead and you guys can repeat this after me really quick. Say, God loves. God when loves. When we... When we have have a thankful heart, a thankful, thankful heart. heart. All right, so that is the big point. I'm gonna read it once again. God loves when we have a thankful heart. Wow. So wait, 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 wait. Before, before you read that, so so you're saying you're saying that if I have a thankful heart, God loves that. Yeah. God loves when you have a thankful heart. Mm -hmm. But what if I don't have a thankful heart? Well, we were actually talking about that today, Gerald. Yeah. Well, Gerald, there are some ways where you can be thankful. So you should change your mindset. God loves when you have a thankful heart. So, so, so how do I do that though? I would say, you know, an easy way is just remembering that there's so much to be thankful for. Right. Like, true, I think true. one of the biggest things is, I mean, obviously Jesus dying on the cross yeah, for that's us. Yeah, a huge one. Like we didn't do anything to deserve that. And yet mm -hmm. he still went and died on the cross for all of our sins so that we can do life with him. Right. So right there, that's something huge that we can easily be thankful for. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Okay, okay. That makes sense. So basically, just be thankful for the things that I do have and not really worry about the things that I don't. Exactly. Right. Oh, You're catching on, Gerald. That makes sense. You're getting it. So, okay, okay. So, what's the big point again? So, the big point, once again, you guys can go ahead and repeat this after me. Let's Say, God loves. God loves. When we have. When we have. A thankful heart. A thankful heart. So it's that easy. It's that simple. Just remember that every it was every day that goes by, just have a thankful heart. And God yeah. loves that. It's a great way that we can show our appreciation for all that God has done for us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well, um, I got to go do some laps. So I'll all right. see you guys later. All right, Gerald. We'll catch you later. All right, bye. Bye. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and transition into, I think we have a drama next. Ooh. So let's go ahead and jump into this drama, guys. Oh, hi, Andre. Good to see you, man. Sophia, good morning. Hello. You can actually go. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, thank you, Sophia. I got you. Thank you. All right, guys, I have your snack. Andre, here you go. I 
don't like these. What? I don't like this. Like the worst candy there is, dude. <sighs> Tired of talking. Sophia, this is a snack you have for today. Thank you so much. Sophia, I appreciate you are it. So welcome. I appreciate it. I don't know why he threw a fit, but thank know. you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you. Aww. Enjoy. Thanks. Mr. Valentine. Yes. We need to talk. How about what? Do you know what it makes to have a thankful heart? Thankful heart? Nope. Figured. Well, for example, downstairs in the classroom, uh -huh. I gave you a piece of candy. Yeah. You took it and you threw it. Because I don't like it. Now, I know it may have not been what you wanted, Mr. Valentine. Uh -huh. But sometimes it's cool to show appreciation for someone's kindness. Show appreciation for kindness? Yeah. For example, when someone's giving you candy, mm -hmm. someone's holding a door for you, yeah. or even Jesus dying on the cross for your sins. Mm. Sometimes it's good to just stop and say thank you. Because God loves it when we have a thankful heart. Do you uh, understand, Mr. Valentine? So, God loves when we have a thankful heart. Exactly. Oh, and so... Those two easy words will help you do it. Thank you. You got it. There you go, Mr. Valentine. Cool. Have a great day. Thank you. There you go. All right, guys, welcome back. Man, that drama was pretty good. That was pretty, that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. Well, guys, we learned a lot about being thankful. But I want to introduce another special guest here. We have Chandler. Chandler, Let's welcome go. to the LCK podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. This is, this is pretty sick. You guys did a good job in the I LCK know. podcast. Yeah, it's the colors are really bright. It's all right, it's all right. I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, welcome to the Word Alive segment, Ooh. where we're going to go talk about the big point and how we can apply this to our daily lives. Okay. All right. So uh, Chandler, what did you do to that big point? Um, the big point, all right, so let's just, let's just repeat it for them. That okay. way they know it. Um, God loves when we have a thankful heart, all right? Guys, to me, that just means just always being, always having gratitude, always having an attitude of gratitude and being thankful for the things that you do have. Because it could be easy to like think about the things that you don't have or like, look at what somebody else has and be like, oh man, I wish I had that video game. Or I yeah. wish I had that toy. Yeah. Where you can easily just fall out of thankfulness. But mm -hmm. if you remember the things that God has already given you, the things that he's already done for you, yeah. you can have a thankful heart in those okay. moments. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's great. And that actually reminds me of a story in the Bible, mm -hmm. um, speaking of the word alive, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, a story in the, live, in the Bible called the 10 lepers, mm -hmm. right? Have you heard of that one? I have heard of that story. It's pretty, it's pretty wild. It it's, is. it's pretty crazy. The, the type of disease that they go through. So there's these 10 lepers, and this can be found in Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. And basically, um, these 10 people, they have a disease, a skin disease called leprosy, right? Do you know what leprosy does? Um, I think it's like a disease that eats at your skin, right? Yeah, so basically what this does is it causes like nerve damage and like eats away at your skin. Wow. Um, it's a very horrible disease. So yeah. like, we, no, we don't want to get that, right? Yeah. So these 10 men, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start in. Um, at verse 11, it says, Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, traveling from Galilee to Samaria. In verse 12, he says, he, ca he came into a small town. Ten men met him there. These men did not come close to Jesus because they all had this harmful skin disease. Verse 13, but they called to him, Jesus, master, please help us. Wow. In verse 14, he says, when Jesus saw the men, he said, go and show yourselves to the priests. While the ten men were going, they were healed. When one of them saw that he was healed, he went back to Jesus and he praised God in a loud voice. Mm -hmm. Then he bowed down at Jesus' feet and thanked him. This man was a Samaritan, by the way. Mm -hmm. Jesus asked, ten were healed, where are the other nine? Is this Samaritan the only one who came back to thank God? Then Jesus said to him, stand up and go on your way. You were healed because of belief. Wow. Guys, I don't know about you tomorrow, but that's kind of crazy, right? Ten lepers, they went to Jesus. They had, they had um, this disease that they were dealing with. And they went to Jesus and they were like, Jesus, help us. He gave them the answer. He's like, hey, this is what you need to do. Go to the priest, right? Go to the priest. Um, you, they, they needed to go to him believing that they were going to be healed. Yeah. So the 10 go, the 10 are healed, but only one of them, one of them recognized that they needed to say thank you. Wow. He came back to Jesus and he went to Jesus. He was like, thank you for healing me, right? And what's awesome about that and why we're sharing that story is because out of all the people, only one came back yeah. to say thank you. Yeah. So my encouragement to you guys would be like, whenever uh, maybe your parents do something for you or your teacher at school does something for you or a friend does something for you, mm -hmm. always remember 
to be grateful and have gratitude towards that person yeah. or whoever it is that whatever they did for you, like always be thankful yeah. for the things that they do for you, mm-hmm. right? Because like I said earlier, it could be easy to think about the things that you don't have or the things that people don't do for you and you could fall into that trap of like, man, like this, I'm not thankful for this person. Or you can decide, you know what? My mom and dad made me dinner tonight mm-hmm. or my teacher took us out for recess today. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go to my teacher. I'm going to say thank you because I really needed that break. Or my parents, thank you, because I was really hungry. That's you know, so just like always having an attitude of gratitude, yeah. just like these 10 lepers, only one of them had that. Mm-hmm. And he came back and said, thank you. And the reason he was healed was because he believed, yeah. right? So whatever it is that you guys are going through, things that you're dealing with, always remember that you just gotta have faith. You gotta trust in God, you know, let him take care of it. And just always show gratitude, always be thankful yeah. um, for the things you're doing. So um, that's our word alive for this week. God the healer, um, week one. So I hope you guys receive that and I hope you guys take that in. And um, just remember that God loves when we have a thankful heart. Um, and when you have a thankful heart, I guarantee you everything around you is just going to be easy and better and whatnot. So, yeah. so Mar, was there anything that you want to add to that? I mean, yeah. Also, guys, like during like being grateful at all the times, like you said, like not just like not just being grateful in the times where like things are going good, but also like when things seem like they may not be going your way, just saying, you know what, God, thank you for what you have done in my life and what you're preparing to do in my life. Because like you said, having an attitude of gratitude at all times, like to make everything easy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's so true. And, um, you know, I, I think for the kids and just letting them know, like, Hey, like if you guys ever are wondering, like, how else can you be grateful or how else can you be thankful? Yeah. Like, Feel free to like message us in the comments like, hey, like um, I, I feel like I'm having trouble being thankful towards my parents or towards my siblings. Yeah. Or if you guys come here on Sundays, I'm here at Life Changes at our Hoffman or our city campus, like yeah. ask your teachers, like let them know like, hey, like I'm having a trouble. I'm having a hard time um, showing gratitude and yeah. being thankful. Yeah. But, um, ask your teachers, ask yeah. them how, how you can do that yeah. and they'll be there to help. Or even ask your parents because I'm sure they know. Um, what it means to be thankful and have a heart of gratitude but um yeah so that's it for the word of life um week one god the healer right we're going to be thankful because he is the god that heals Amen. and we're going to thank him and give him gratitude for that right. um, so i hope you guys enjoyed that um what we got next um i think that is the end of the podcast right? that is the end of the podcast it All right. is so guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to come Sunday, Hoffman yes. and City Campus for Life Changers Kids. Guys, we have so much great things for you. We will catch you later. See you. Peace.